Hello. Now, uh, today, I want to talk about the earliest signs and symptoms of throat cancer. Now, these are some of the signs that usually occur, but uh, you can never know whether these are the earliest signs of throat cancer. Now, uh, when we talk about throat cancer, we usually mean the phalnix, the larynx, even the thyroid, and even the esophagus. So these are some of the cancers that can arise from this, uh, uh, what we call the larynx, phalnix, and even the esophagus. So those are the signs that I'm going to talk about. Kindly, if you are new, remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more of these health uh, videos. Now, there are two main types of this throat cancer. One is the varangeal and the laryngeal. This varangeal affect the phalanx, the laryngeal affect the larynx. So these are two main uh, uh, types of this throat cancer. Now the other thing that we need to know, there are some of the risk factors that can predispose one to have this uh, throat cancer or someone who is at risk of getting this, uh, uh, what you call the cancer. The other thing, uh, uh, one of it is uh, what we call the cigarette smoking. This one is at risk of getting this uh, throat cancer. The other thing is the human papilloma uh, virus. The other thing is uh, excessive alcohol consumption, hot beverages, and if there is a family history of this uh, throat cancer. So this predispose one to be at risk of getting this uh, what we call the uh, throat cancer. Now, what we need to talk about also is the signs, the earliest signs and symptoms of this throat cancer. This is going to guide you when you have these signs and symptoms to seek medical attention to get earlier treatment or screening of this throat cancer to avoid the advanced stage. Now, one of the signs is what we call the persistent uh, sore throat. Each and everybody can experience this uh, sore throat, but sometimes you need to go for a checkup, for a throat checkup, if it's persistent. The other thing is that the hoarseness of the voice, you know, so this is also some of the signs that will make you to seek medical attention for this uh, throat cancer. Weight reduction, more so in advanced stage. So also this one, uh, you need to check on it. Persistent cough, or maybe you are just having a cough with uh, blood. This is also another sign that you need to go for the ENT or for the examination and further exam uh, investigation to rule out this throat cancer. Now the other thing is the pain uh, or difficulties in swallowing, uh, what we call the uh, shortness of breath, more so if there is uh, cancer has spread uh, to the other uh, parts of the body. The other thing is that if you have a lump on the throat, you need to go and seek medical attention so that you rule out this uh, throat cancer. Not all these signs that gonna happen because of this uh, throat cancer, but sometimes if they keep on coming, is something that's alarming and you need to go and check. The other thing is the area, uh, uh, the, uh, the ear pain, most on the one side. This also need uh, this examination of the throat cancer. So these are some of the signs and symptoms of this throat cancer that one needs to be aware of to seek medical attention for eye screening, for investigations, and for any intervention if in case of this throat cancer. So therefore, I want you to be aware of these signs in case of anything, you seek medical attention, and then you get screened, then you get the earlier uh, treatment of this throat cancer. Treatment, there are a lot of uh, modules of treatment depending on the stage and even on the, uh, what we call the, uh, the area that this 
affect. So this is the end of this video. Kindly remember to subscribe to get more of this health video. Comment. Let me know what you want me to talk in the next topic. Share this information to anyone you think can benefit from this health video. Thank you.